This morning, a surprising new development of the case of the disappearance of Madeleine McCann. Three years after the British girl vanished in Portugal, police say they are ready to reopen the investigation. Let's get the latest now from Keir Simmons in London. Keir, good morning. Well, good morning, Lester. It's more than three years since three-year-old Madeleine McCann disappeared, and Portugal's police just desperately need to solve this crime. This morning, it's reported detectives are committed to resolving the case and would work on a review and pursue any new line of inquiry. You'll remember Kate and Jerry McCann's young daughter went missing from their holiday apartment in an idyllic resort in Portugal's Algarve. Some witnesses saw a male abductor carrying her away, but incredibly, the parents themselves were then accused of her involvement those allegations have been dismissed now, but this week Madeleine's parents claimed that both the British and Portuguese governments had forgotten their daughter. Thoughts and words are not good enough, particularly when they are in a position that they can actually do something about it. If Madeleine was found, it would almost be by chance, and it shouldn't be right that this crime is solved by another child being abducted. Well, this morning it's reported that Portuguese detectives will look at the case again, but Madeline's parents have waited too long to get their hopes up and are waiting for official confirmation, Lester. And Kira, we haven't seen the McCanns for quite some time. How are, generally are they coping right now? Well, you know, Lester, I've covered the disappearance of little Madeleine McCann from the beginning. I arrived in Portugal the day after she went missing, and to me, her parents now seem as shell-shocked and devastated as they did in those early days. They say Madeleine's twin brother and sister often talk about if Madeleine comes home, uh, where it, not about if Madeleine comes home, but about when she comes home, how they will share their bedrooms and spend time together. Without those two little ones, the parents say uh, life would have been simply unbearable. All right. Keir Simmons in London this morning. Thank you.